my god, that's my boss, Jesus. I'm not shy to, I'm not so good at marketing. <laughs> I'll put you on YouTube, you'll see. Ah, I salute you guys, President General Amon Dinesho. Hi guys, welcome to another vloggy vlog. If you're new here, my name is Bola Harrison and over here we just have fun, enjoy life and motivate. Okay, so I'm at work, today is Monday and yeah, I'm I'm pretty chill. But at the same time, I'm feeling sleepy because I slept quite late yesterday. And this is my outfit of the day. This I got from TikTok shop. Um, I took off my heels already, so not wearing my heels. And um, yeah, so this is me. I'm not doing much for today. I'm not doing much. I have a couple of check-ins later with my managers. Managers because I'm working with more than one manager. And that's all for today. And after which I'll just go home. I also want to get to Boots to buy my body cream and soap. And I think that's all for today. And I just want to go home and sleep. I'm done with all of my trainings. I'm done with everything and I'm so happy. So I'll catch up with you guys later, maybe during my lunch. And let's talk about what we're doing for the week. All right. To this. I really need to get a bigger mirror because this is my full outfit. But I feel like this is what I'm wearing. That's my shoe. And let me hold the camera this way. So I'm set to go. And I think I feel better than I did yesterday when I was leaving the house. Yesterday, Monday, I just dressed like... Let me shout, just dress, you know, because I needed to, um, the outfit I wore yesterday, it's from TikTok shop, and I needed to promote it as well, so that's why. But today, I feel good. The mirror is dirty. I'll get a bigger mirror soon. I'm just trying to decide to buy on Amazon, TikTok, or go to the range to buy it, but maybe later. Hi, guys. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, and I'm on my way to work. So finally, I had a discussion. You might be hearing my shoe clang. Please, pardon me. I had a discussion with my manager. So starting from this week, I'll be doing hybrid, which means I'll be working sometimes from home. I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy. I'm happy because I don't, like, waking up so early in the morning so that I can... Sorry, just hold on, guys. Yep. I'm so happy because... Having to wake up each morning just so that I can meet up with the boss. It's not easy. I have a one hour, 30 minutes commute to work. One hour back, including work time and all of that. Like I have to walk to the bus stop and stuff. Like I'm so happy I'll get to do hybrid. So I wanted to check in with you guys before I would get to work. And oh my God, that's my boss, Jesus. All right. Now at work, guys. Now at work. Um, I think I'll take a break. 10 minutes break after three hours. Take another 10 minutes break after three. Because I noticed I have not been taking so much breaks. And I've been sitting too close to the computer screen. So I want to try to take breaks today. And have my breakfast early. Yesterday I ate lunch at past three. Which was not so good. And um, it made me hungry when I go home. And I had to eat a bar against my will. <sighs> So I didn't take breakfast yesterday. I think I ate banana. So for today, I have breakfast. I'll show you guys where I pack or where I usually pack. I think I'm not be showing so much of my food for the day. This weight loss thing, it's not easy at all, but where's my record? See you guys later. Oh my god, my makeup look off today. I don't know if it's just me. I can't believe this is just past 11. Since morning that I've been at that work, sitting down there, it's just past 11. I can't wait for it to be one. Once it's one, I know that the time will run. I want to go outside and take some sunlight. I'm tired. It's so bright outside. Ah, oh, see sun. It's really nice outside. Ah. This just made me remember a comment. Um, what's her name? Premium. The lady with premium something. I remember her name. Said every time I'm always saying sun, sun, sun. Yes, now, like it's so nice. See, sun is so nice. Now it's looking like it's summery. I can now say this is like the real summer. 
Let me just sit down in a bench somewhere here. I didn't even bring my fruit outside to eat. I have apple in my bag. Ah, oh, gosh. I really can't wait to work from home tomorrow. I really want to work from home tomorrow. Look, I'm just sitting down in that office. Like, it's not busy yet. I'm still in my newcomer phase. So, I'm just sitting down there doing nothing. It's not like I'm doing nothing. I've been replying to emails. I just finished, like, having a meeting and all of that. But I still feel like it's not gotten busy yet, but... So I feel like most of the things I'm doing right now here, I can do it at home because my managers, none of them are in the office. I think one comes in today, the other one will come in on Wednesday, one will come in on, no, they don't really come in on Friday. So I want to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> oh, my son is really nice. So um, I want to partition my life from here right now. How do I say that in a more explanatory way? I want to arrange my schedule so I can... Um, go back to the pattern of me taking like my online courses and stuff like that when I wake up in the morning not in the morning I know it's not possible anymore but like maybe weekend or something now my Saturdays are free so I need to find something to fix in that Saturday for now I use it for editing but I really want to find something productive like maybe take an online course do something that you know is meaningful aside from content creating on Saturdays I just really want to find something productive as if my life is not productive already i just shall lie work anyways that's where i'm at right now i need to figure out what to do with my life going forward <laughs> what to do with my days going forward for now we just go back to work come back um there are a couple of courses i want to take online for writing and also because of my academics uh, my my doctoral program application period will soon be open and i know it, i will get a lot of request and mails to answer to so i want to be productive before application period open where i'll be very busy <sighs> and that's it guys i'll check in with you guys when i get home or maybe tomorrow i don't know yet but we'll see later during the week to do so guys there's something i want to say at night and this is just like life generally i want to say something it might be helpful to someone watching this vlog it's from my place of work from my previous place of work and I just want to draw some insight from it and I'll tell you guys when I get home. I probably don't forget, but I want it to be resolved fully, 100% before I now go ahead to say that. But I believe that before 9 when I get home, it would have been resolved. So I'm going back inside. Where's my card? Okay. I can't wait to go home. I wish I can just... I will, if I was not living so far, right? Or let's say if I had a car, I'll go home and complete the rest of my work at home. But if I decide to take the bus, it will take me 1 or 30 minutes, which I will not be able to walk on the bus so i'm just going to be here soon it will be five but i'll be leaving here like 4 40 or 4 45 so i can meet up with the first bus that comes at 5 3 so i'm tired already like it is so bored it's so boring i'm bored i don't have my friends in the office if it's like my previous place of work will be just seeing will be laughing you can't have it all anyways in life you can't have it all but here I don't have anyone like everybody's just doing their job. I only have one other black person, a young guy, but he is in the systems department. We are not in the same we are in the same office, but it's not we're not doing the same job. So it's quite busier than I am, if that makes sense. And we've not just vibed to that level where we can exchange messages. In my previous place of work, we'll be just in on teams, even with my friends that are downstairs while I'm upstairs. So it's a bit it's a bit boring. In terms of um, workplace, but I don't want workplace friends anyway. I just want to do my work and leave. But you get what I mean, like gisting. Even the white people on my floor will all gist, will laugh. <coughs> so, I need to bring my water here. Alright guys, I need to go. Let me go and continue my food. I'll see you guys. Later when we get home, I have gist. Don't go anywhere. I have gist for you, but that way when I get home so I can be more comfortable in giving you that gist. I'm listening to a love story on TikTok from one of my uh, friends on TikTok that will follow each other. She was quite helpful when I was also moving to Manchester. So, yeah, it's uh, we've not met, but she, we've just chatted online on WhatsApp and on TikTok. But I'm watching video. See you guys later. Hi guys. So my shoe rack and my wardrobe from Shane was delivered today. The wardrobe was delivered yesterday, but my shoe rack was delivered today. So I just finished fixing everything up, and I didn't vlog today like I thought. Because I didn't vlog yesterday, I was so exhausted. I went to sleep when I got home. I said, okay, today I'll tell you guys the gist I promised you yesterday. And babe surprised me with a visit to Manchester. Like, I was up in my bed, on my bed, when I just saw someone walk into my room. I assumed I was uh, 
you know my other housemates and I just saw him I, I couldn't even scream but so that's why I didn't vlog I just to explain the reason why I didn't vlog today but right now we are going to pick up some things at the supermarket when I'm back I might likely just continue the vlog and tell you what I wanted to tell you but if I don't I work from home today so if I don't I'll do so tomorrow because I'm also working from home what else am I forgetting my power pump this is the wardrobe it looks so nice my room has changed are you guys see my room is looking very nice right now so let me show you around so over there where I have those heaters I want to get a trolley basket um, from Shein or TikTok shop and I'll put it there where I'll have all the other rough edges on my table on top so this is what here looks like my room is coming together gradually or our room rather and this is what the wardrobe looks like so this is my corner that's big and the up is definitely our space <laughs> and one of that rack there is mine so i'm just going to clear that get a plant and put it on the windowsill and yeah then get curtains but for now that's everything okay all right guys okay guys so i have to leave and um i'll just you guys when i'm back or oh, i promise tomorrow i'll just you guys let me leave because everyone is already downstairs and i'm the only one remaining so to those guys talk to you later hi guys good morning i'm all dressed up i'm working from home today and i'm wearing this outfit because i want to make a tiktok ad video um for a dress i got sent you're making noise in my video sorry guys so i was sent some outfit from tiktok shop and if i'll put you on youtube you'll see guys i want to share i want to share oh so those who those who complete those who want it okay guys so I was sent some outfit from TikTok show and I want to try them on and then submit the video because I it was sent to me since like 14 days ago and this I have five days left. So I must do that video today. Uh what else? Yeah, that's it. Where's my guys? Come on, man. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that's oh mercy, my man. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> You are just you are just echoing all up in my video. Okay, so I have my setup done. Let me show you guys. Those are my lights and I want to make the video there. And I have to submit this video today. So this is everything that I want to use. And I'm I must do it today this morning. I'm working already. So my system is logged in, and while my system is logged in, I want to make advert for this leggings I'm wearing and yeah i have these two outfits from tiktok shop so the more ad i make apparently the more i can get free samples to try on and i am I'm, I'm very shy to i'm not so good at marketing right i'm always very shy to think that i'm not shy with my phone but when it comes to marketing like i feel so self-conscious is the word so anyways um my system is logged in my system is on that tape there that's my laptop and there is nothing happening this morning which i'm grateful for so i quickly need to i need to quickly make this video and then get on my day and i didn't forget the gist i promise you guys or oh, let me just just you now in fact let me look for where the light is perfect and these guys will not disturb me okay so let me just you guys so what i'm going to say is you see in this life you need to learn to speak up and fight for yourself you need to learn to fight for your rights basically because nobody will fight for you when you come abroad, you work with certain people that might want to cheat you and you would think that it's a Western word. There's nothing like, um, um, you know, cheating when it comes to workplace drama and all of that. Guys, that's not true. We have black people who are spearheading companies abroad. We have white people. But in my case, it was a honest mistake, to be honest. I'm not going to say anything to my, for my company. It was a honest mistake because I followed it up. Now, there are people that have heard that um they are here working they are working for a black person like those working in care home or other healthcare centers or any company that is black owned i held a tiktok live and some people were talking about how some black um care homes owned by black people employed them from nigeria brought them down here they were removing tax from their salary but apparently they were not remitting the tax now this is a big problem because 
if you're on a five years work visa when you want to collect your indefinite leave to remain which is ilr you must show proof of that you've been paying tax for the last one year half this woman has not has been has been um tax has been deducted from her salary but apparently the company was not remitting it now that's one problem another problem is that some will remove pension but they will not remit your pension to your pension account so whenever you come to abroad not just the uk whenever you go anywhere and they are moving any money from your salary always ask questions like for me my previous place of work i opted out of pension i told them i don't want i'm still an immigrant in this country even if i'm on a work visa i don't want pension i can do pension when i'm on a five years contract work visa it's a different thing but i can't do pension when i'm still one leg in one leg out my money goes where and i can't collect that money until i'm 66. that's two Three is that don't trust anybody. Don't say, oh, I'm working for a white company. White people don't cheat people. That's not true. Anything can happen. Now, recently, I resigned from my job that two weeks ago, three weeks, two weeks ago, is it? Been? This is my second week at my new job. Um, I resigned three weeks ago on Wednesday, right? So I was expecting my salary to be a certain amount because I worked for about 17 days, which is about two weeks. Unfortunately, when they paid me my money, they removed the holiday so um, i didn't work for one year and i used a lot of my holidays and the holidays for one year so they were supposed to remove whatever it is i'm owing but fortunately for me um i was still within my holiday threshold for working with them for four months but uh, when they reduced when they deducted money from my salary for my hours they removed 705 pounds instead of 10 hours they remove money for 61 hours that i'm owing them that i took extra holidays but i was like no right from when i booked my holiday that i wanted to travel to qatar i booked it in june i wanted to travel to belgium to pick up my remaining luggages which i which i went in may i booked it that i will go in july but unfortunately i moved it to may luckily for me thank god i even moved it because i had no idea i was starting this new job in july now what happened is they removed 705 pounds instead of maybe 115 pounds and then another 115 pounds because i was absent from work one particular day so i think that's the only money they are supposed to remove basically right so they removed money for 61 hours which was over 700 pounds i saw the bill i was like no this is not correct because i told my manager before i left that job that there, there are certain holidays i booked that i didn't go on but it was approved and also that bank holidays is meant to um you can we had two bank holidays in may which is some companies work some don't work but my company we work so they asked us to pick one bank holiday we must work one bank holiday but i didn't want them to remove the bank holiday from my hours because if you if you don't work they will remove it from your holiday hours unless that day happens to be your off day coincidentally so for me i chose to work the two because i rather keep my holiday hours and use it some other time fortunately I worked the two bank holidays and I never used the uh, annual leave to travel. So they removed that money, saying that I only worked one. But I've been telling my manager since that bank holiday in May that I worked this two bank holiday, but it's not showing on my um, portal because we have a portal where you can see your hours remaining for your holiday, for your um, breaks and everything. That It's not been updated. He said I shouldn't worry that um, it's, a, it's a system thing that production, production is people who call, who work at the back office, that they've updated it. I kept on disturbing them and even when I would leave, I still told my direct team manager because we have a team, a line, no, we have a team leader and a team manager. I told my team leader, but unfortunately he has resigned. So I told my team manager before I resigned that these are the days I work, these are the only days I booked that I didn't go. Now they deducted the money. When I was telling my sister, she was like, Oh, I even like you because you I know you will speak up. And I was like, Yes, because I know what I took while I'm working. So always keep note of, if you work in care, if in the UK, if you work abroad, always keep register of these things, like where you work, how has you worked, the days you work over time. Keep record because sometimes these documents can get lost. Someone can make a mistake. My coming to this job, this is my previous job, someone made a mistake and said my visa had expired, even when I just collected it. So we are humans and people will make mistakes. That's what I want to tell you guys. But if you notice that the discrepancy in your pay, don't be so silent to say they are doing you a favor. You are working and they are paying you for what you are working. Nobody's doing a favor for you. Nobody's doing you a favor for the job that you are you are working for. This, this video is getting so long already. Nobody's doing you a favor. You want 20 hours, you are entitled to it. So I noticed that my friend who took a lot of holidays, even than I did. They paid her. Yeah, I'm done on YouTube. They paid her, like they removed 450 pounds from her holidays and they removed 700 from mine. Meanwhile, she took all of her holidays. I did not. So I quoted that also. So don't be scared of any 
HR or whatever. Don't be scared. Even if I'm still in that company, I'll go, then I'm always going to be outspoken. So I quoted it that so so and so person from so so and so floor worked so so and so hours and took all of her holidays. She was deducted so so and so amount for holiday. Why am I deducted this? So they took it to payroll. Payroll checked and said, oh, that's the same. That's what, what they sent me as my pay slip is what they have. So my team manager took it to HR. This is via email back and forth. HR now said, oh, it was a mistake. They were meant to remove 21 hours, but they removed 61. 21 hours being that, the one day I called in sick for my, for my partner, that, oh, I can't come to work because my partner is sick. So that was not, it's not a sick leave for myself. So they didn't, they will remove the hours. I said, fine. Then the second day, 11 hours to make it 21 was the one that the bank holiday that I worked, which they recorded as if I did not work. So guys, in all of this thing, what I'm just trying to say is always fight for yourself, be outspoken, ignore any workplace drama. You don't want to be enemies with someone at work. You don't want to um, make the HRU put their eyes on you. Ask for your money. Don't say you're working at brother. Human make humans make error and all of these places in hr is not robots that is there even robots make errors ask for your money be outspoken people are removing tax ask if you are in the uk and your company is removing tax always when you start a new job always call the hmrc that you started a new job you want to know if they've been paying tax it's as simple as that because the stories that i heard on that my tiktok life that i did that people come and say oh they are working for black owned companies white owned companies they are removing tax and they are not remitting it they are removing pension and they are not remitting it hmrc will hold you responsible and you'll be the one to pay because they assume that once you start a new yeah. job it's your responsibility to check if your tax is being paid and paid correctly and if you're at a place of where they are not removing tax also call them and tell them that i'm working they are not removing tax if not you'll be in trouble later all right guys see you later but that's just i wanted to do to you guys if you want one just like this come to my tiktok live i'll put my username on the screen we talk every sunday with other people living in the uk living abroad they share their experience those that have been here longer because me i've just been here for five months those that have been here longer share their experience share their experience with work, with life, with kids, with marriage, relationship, and we talk about content creating for content people. All right, later. I'm making beans and rice. This is my beans. All right, all right. That's all for today. I don't know if I'm going to check in again. Oh, I might check in because I'm going out to buy some things later in the day. I need to check my laptop if I've gotten any messages. See ya. I feel like I've spoken so much. Oh my god. Five minutes to the end of my shift. To the end of my job today. And uh, yeah, I can go get what I want to get at the store and come back home. Uh, Base is sleeping. For those of you who have kids, who have toddlers and you're working or staying at home or working from home or doing anything and you have a toddler. Like, it's not easy. Ah, I salute you guys. President, General, Amon, Dinesha. Gosh. Like, what? It's not easy being a stay-at-home mom, being a working-class mom, a corporate mom, a work-from-home mom. Mm -mm. It's not easy at all. Eh? Before we can get hard to sleep, it is a lot of work. A lot of work. Oh my God. I'm doing mother in training. <laughs> all the experiences I get from my friends that have kids whenever I go to their houses, I'm piling them on my CV. So that my wife material can still be very long. <laughs> okay, so once I'm done, I've been waiting. I've not gotten much to do today. I only responded to some emails from yesterday, fixed some calendar events, and that's all I've done today, basically. And I've been able to do some TikTok videos, even though I've not been able to edit them because um, I'm watching her while her mom does some content. Um, and now I would log out once it's five sharp. Just so I can go to the store. I want to get a long, uh, full length mirror, see if I can get a laundry basket and also some food plastic to pour my groceries or some of my food items inside. And I think that's all I want to do for today. For tomorrow, I'll also be working from home, but I have no idea what tomorrow is going to be like. Um, so, fingers crossed to see what we'll do tomorrow. Tomorrow, I have to batch cook, maybe tomorrow or next, because I don't know if I'll have the strength to go anywhere. But yeah, that's how my day has been. Um, been indoors, I cooked, responded to emails, and now I almost don't work here. So I really like working from home. <laughs> I like it. Like, guys, I'll talk to you. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Toodles.
hi guys good morning so it's about 9 30 i've been awake for like almost two hours now i was editing a video that i want to put on tiktok and now i'm taking a road walk i've been indoors since wednesday so i just want to stretch my limbs the battery of this camera is low then when i come back i will do my regular workouts inside the house just that i've been cooped up in the house since so i want to just go outside it's not so sunny like yesterday but i mean i know the sun will come out so how are you guys doing? How's your day been? How's your week been rather? And where do I go? Let me go this way. Okay guys, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm back in the house. I'm already panting. I've been working for just five minutes. You see, that's why I needed to work. <sighs> Before the battery of this camera runs out, let me just say a quick something. So this morning when I woke up, I was reflecting on something about decision making. How a little decision we make affects the entire trajectory trajectory of our of our life on you know that we have so i'm thinking of decision making in terms of relationship and marriage and partnership Whew. hi guys um so i got back from running uh walking rather hi guys so i got back from my walk and um i did forget to check in for a couple of hours because i was what was i doing mm, i was trying to see if i could do my laundry and make some content because i just want to try to be consistent on my social media pages and then i made breakfast this is breakfast this is pancake banana pancake um strawberries cucumber and chicken sausage and that's breakfast after which i have to go to my laundry i did fix my room yesterday but right now i'm editing that's the video that's going to go up on my youtube channel and i think that's all for today on monday tuesday and wednesday i'll be working in the office and I'm crossing my fingers that they allow me work from home Thursday and Friday. So if you watch till this point, thank you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment just so YouTube can push my videos to a wider audience. And uh, I want to make this vlogging a thing on my channel. So it would be nice if you guys would also engage on my vlogs as much as you engage on my travel abroad videos. I love you guys. Thank you so much for... 4k followers i know i did post something on my youtube but i've hit 4k like about two weeks now and i've hit 3k on my instagram my tiktok is lagging behind for some reason i don't know why i offended on tiktok my views are just between 300 400 500 hardly struggles to get to 500 but i'll just keep being consistent so thank you guys have a wonderful weekend and enjoy your coming week wish you guys all the best bye